Warning. Do not attempt to remove spring from its housing. Clock type springs can be dangerous to handle. Removal of spring from housing could result in personal injury. Check for broken springs by pulling about two-thirds cable off reel and observing. Broken spring indicators. On sides of spring canisters as shown in the figure. Note. Bearings and springs are prelubricated and require no periodic maintenance. Turn off all electric power. Disconnect cable from machine junction box. Wind all cable onto reel to relieve all spring tension. Remove inspection cover from face of spring housing. Rotate spill clockwise and observe inner shaft. Shaft should rotate clockwise and hub should remain stationary. Note. Do not attempt to remove spring if resistance is met or hub tends to rotate with shaft. Continue to rotate spool and strike end of shaft with a rubber mallet, until shaft rotates freely and hub remains stationary. With a pointed or needle nose pliers, remove the pawls from each groove in the shaft. Remove also the pawl springs, there are two in each set. Remove four nuts which secure spring motor to frame. Slide spring motors off shaft and discard. Install replacement spring motor, pawls and pawl springs. Note. Pawl springs must be located between the pawls and the deepest section of the shaft grooves. Make sure that pawls and pawl springs are inserted flush with ends of shaft and hub. Or they may rub against inspection cover. Tighten nuts and extension bolts, securing spring housing to reel frame. Tension spring with spanner wrench. Refer to installation instruction. Replace inspection cover.